With the connections complete, we're now ready to open your FinishSync software and configure it. Once FinishSync is open, choose Scoreboard Options. Click on New. Choose DAC.LSS for the script. Give it a name. We'll call this Runtime. Choose Network UDP. Choose Port 21000. Set running time to normal. Leave results to off. Come back and choose new again. Choose DAC LSS script. Give it a name of results. For a serial port, choose network UDP and choose port 21100. Leave running time to off, set results to auto. Paging checked in size of eight or whatever lane track you have. Choose okay. Once that's set up, we'll have to restart the software. So close software, reopen the software. You can go back into scoreboard options and make sure your two scoreboard status is running. If that is good, we can press OK. And now we can play our finish link sequence from the show control computer. So over here on the show control, I'm going to choose my standard sequence that you can purchase from Dectronics. I'll press that button. Our finish link sequence should play. With your sequence playing from show control, we can come to finish links and open up erase. We can load a scheduled event. We can choose 400 meter dash women from the list. And when we hit OK, the results should be sent to the display. With the results going to the display, we can also send running time. We can trigger the transducer, and now we have running time and results up on our display. We are now ready to configure HITECH to send HITECH data to the display. Once in HITECH, choose Setup Alpha Scoreboard Interface. You'd want to choose Dectronics Full Matrix. And for the connection method, UDP Ethernet, choose OK. Go into the run screen of the event. Choose Interfaces, Scoreboard Dectronics Full Matrix, Set UDP Port and IP Address. Choose Port 20,000. Press OK. Go back to Interfaces. Scoreboard Dectronics Full Matrix and choose Customize. Here we can set the number of rows for header, number of rows for lanes, and number of characters. So when you build your sequence, you will need to adjust these settings for the exact characters and lanes you used. With our sequence, we have two lines for header, we have eight lanes, and we have 36 characters long. Choose OK. We are now ready to send results to display, so we want to come to our show control laptop and play our high tech results sequence. Once your high tech, once your high tech sequence is played, we can press Control F1 on high tech and choose the event number. In my instance, it'd be event eight. We're going to do request two and press OK, and results should show up.